through our Career and College Promise program, which mm -hmm. is North Carolina's dual enrollment program that allows eligible public, private, and homeschool students to take classes tuition free um, to complete both high school and college credits. I love the tuition free, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> <Absolutely>. <laughs> And we have, we have a few, um, right now we are, are able to offer our students seven college and 24 education, including programs such as our welding, industrial systems, early childhood education, criminal justice, biotechnology and automotive, which you will get to see a little bit of today. In addition, we have two special programs that were created for our high school students our health science scholars that students can come in and take prerequisites to gain entry into one of our health science programs mm -hmm. and our technical academy where students are taking classes in some of our trade areas to earn the credentials or work towards a full degree. And this all means jobs. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of our students who um, are in these programs, um, will, they will have credentials to go into the workforce. Uh -huh. We also employ three career coaches that are embedded in our local high schools. And their function in the high schools is to, number one, um, do career exploration with mm -hmm. the students, talk to them about academic programs that we offer that align with their future career goals, and then help these students transition from high school to college. Our campus also is home to a, an early college. So we have the Pitt County Schools, early college high school right here on our campus. Yeah. We have a total of about 313 early college students in grades 9 through 13 who are completing a high school diploma but are also mm -hmm. working on the courses to either transfer to a four-year institution or complete these certificates, mm -hmm. diplomas, and degrees in the CTE areas that lead to um, employment in our mm -hmm. local community. And so all of these programs together are a collaboration between our college and our local school system, Pitt County Schools. And without the support of Pitt County Schools and their leadership and their staff, Pitt Community College leadership, staff, mm -hmm. and all the faculty members who teach our students, as well as our, um, you know, our local employers. Everybody's a piece of the puzzle, and when we put it together, you know, our, we get recognition, and we are very grateful that you decided that you want to come here to see what we do. No, I've heard about your program, and this is exactly uh, what our administration wants to do is find jobs for all students because not all students need a four year degree. Other option. So, Absolutely. thank you for what you're doing. Thank you. Okay, thanks everybody. You want us closer? Okay. <laughs>
I'll wait till they tell me about it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. My, I'm sorry. Yeah, I had to find my X on the floor. <laughs> Hi, I'm Christy Weeks. I'm chair of the biotechnology department here at the community college. So students that complete our program um, will receive an associate in applied science degree in biotechnology, which qualifies them to work as entry-level lab analysts. Um, and a majority of our students, about 70% of our students, usually start their careers um, in quality control labs associated with our local pharmaceutical companies. Um, they do all the lab tests on the products that are manufactured there to ensure that they're safe and effective. And that's kind of um, one of the tests that run, they're running here today, and um, Mr. Jim is going to tell you all about that. But um, we pretty much have two major stakeholders. We have our students, and then we have the industries that we serve. And so we provide our students with the opportunity to secure a rewarding, um, lifelong career in a life-saving critical industry. And we provide our industry partners with well-trained, highly skilled lab analysts. Mm -hmm. So we're lucky enough to have um, the privilege to kind of um, have a role in changing lives on multiple levels, which is just really awesome. Uh, my name is Nicola Jeanette. I'm a student currently enrolled in the biotech program. Uh, I really enjoy science, and when I found out through my own college I could do something like biotechnology, to me because taking something so small, even like a product like insulin, to help millions of people, that's something that you know is really important to me. Mm -hmm. And after I graduate, I probably will work in a lab setting. Um, I'd like to probably, like Ms. Week said, go to Catholic or Dema Fisher. Mm -hmm. And how old are you now? Uh, I'm 18. You're 18, so are you a senior in high school? I am. Uh -huh. Okay. So you're getting a little bit of a mixture in here. You know, you've got high schoolers that are part of the Tech Academy that uh -huh. are basically, when they come in, they'll have one year left and they got a degree and a job. And you also have four other students that are part of the scholarship program that one of our industries locally has set up. And they're basically giving a full ride right now at a guaranteed job. So actually, just as of this morning, perfect timing, two over there, Lexi and Nadia, just got word that they've got interviews lined up. I'm um, kidding. When, hey, when, are those, when are those interviews? They're not scheduled yet. They're not scheduled, but you got them, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, so it's, it's really cool that we're able to come in here and if you'd like sure. to kind of see what's going on. So uh, are you at the very end of your semester? Yes. Yeah, because I know I have like six more classes so when does your school end? Uh, May the 6th. May 6th. May 5th. May 5th. May 5th. Yeah. All right, so you guys can make it. Right? That's what I keep telling my students. You only have a couple more weeks. You can do this. Yeah. Yeah, that goes for the instructors, too. <laughs> hey, listen, yeah. I'm the instructor, so I know. I'm right with you. Yeah. yeah, well, if you look at my bio, you'll see that. You know it's a good job when you don't feel like it's a job. Yeah, that's right. That's exactly right. And I feel like... You know, community colleges are really special places. So, and I love community college students. So, I think we're all in the right place. <laughs> so, what they're doing right now is is what's it's basically called an assay. So, if you think like you've got a product like Tylenol in this case, uh -huh. uh, every batch that's made, you've got to make sure if the label claim says there's 500 milligrams in there, well, you might want to check that out. Mm -hmm. And so. The FDA and the government, you may know a few government people, possibly. <laughs> Anyways, you know, they require that, you know, that you're within certain ranges for like a label claim. And so what they're doing is they're making a solution up where they're, they're making what's called a standard. It's basically a known concentration of the same active ingredient that's in the product. That's what they're making. Over here, they're going to take those solutions and represents the concentration of what they do. Uh -huh. Now, the last little missing piece is to actually make up a sample solution using the actual product, which they've done over there. Okay. And they'll read the sample solution, compare it to the standard, and be able to say, hey, there's 
you know, this particular batch is like 99% label claim, which is good, you know, so the closer you are to 100% the better, correct? Right? Uh -huh. yeah. And so, anyways, every batch that get released has to go through that type of testing. Uh, one of the things we did or had in here are many of the other types of techniques and tests that you have to do. So just kind of, uh, basically, we do what industry does. Mm -hmm. The students do exactly what they'll do on the job in this classroom, and that ends up being Lexi and Nadia's who get jobs. <laughs> so uh, you talk about classroom to career, this is it. So, yeah. Well, that's great. Do you any, any questions, Dr. Button? <laughs> Can you explain what it is that you're doing here? Um, so basically what we're doing is taking this powder mm -hmm. and uh, some of the paint, and we're basically weighing it out and then we fit it into one of the glass and then we take the water, kind of fill it up so that everything's like mixed and combined together and then we hand it off to these two people. To do the quality testing and insurance? Yeah. For my part, I'm doing a uh, dilution. Uh, the concentration we have, it ranges, especially for pills, you want to get it within a certain range for what they're doing from right there. She's weighing out 40 milligrams. It's kind of a lot for a typical tablet. <laughs> so we break it down and we're passing it to her. Uh, she'll read it on the UV spec and what's happening is uh, it'll give off an absorbance value. Uh, there's a light in there that passes through. It'll pick up certain particles and the light that doesn't pass through, it'll tell you how much is there uh, that's being absorbed. Um, if you get it within the concentration that we want, it should be within you know, 0.3 to 1, around that range. Yeah. Do you think I should give him some bonus points for that? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, that was... I mean, that was... Yeah. <laughs> and the press, I'm sure, it uh, understood all the words. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. And i got to point out, like last week when you guys first started coming out, um, we actually had industry on site, so, oh. you know, they, they actually joined our classes and uh -huh. then take part, work with the students, um, and then uh, we go out there and tour, so we have a tour, actually this week, with Thermo Fisher. And, uh, collaboration with the companies, so they know exactly what we're doing. So. So your degree will be in bio. We're going to go to the shop. It's a bit of a long. Okay. Okay. There you go. You got Yeah, I'm making it. I'll carry him if I have to. Put him on your shoulders. <laughs> like exactly. a sack of taters. <laughs> <laughs> How much weight are you actually carrying? Have you ever weighed it all? It's been a while. <laughs> For me, the weight is not really what is bothering me. Oh. Oh, man. Heel. Just to see you work, man. Man, I hope they care. Oh, she went good. Have you seen what we did to the room over here yet? No, I haven't. You haven't seen Oh, you're going to love this.
come. Y'all will just hold in that atrium until the moment. Okay, so no jump in. Can't ask for any questions? Okay. Uh, just about the students. Okay. We'll say go, you did do it. Oh, you're Ready? Not yet. Sorry. I was going to wait until they had this set up. So that way. You don't need it. Uh, I better get a copy of this picture. I sort of had it as a backup in case this went out on me. I always like to keep two mics going. Yeah. Just keep it going and Maybe kind of hold it up here a little bit. I mean, I know you're trying to. That's okay. Yeah. That's okay. Um, no gag with her. No question. But I want to get some from Pitt. Okay. We'll do that. Yep. Yeah. Oh, now you're asking for a lot. I've been tased twice now by Secret Service, so. You made it through the first one? Actually, yeah. I, I'm a little stubborn and. Shut up. I was going to say it is going to take and then it's going to be I'm not even sure that there's people anymore. Once we moved classrooms, I think they took it down. I'm still recording. Yes, please do. I'd say look good, but that's probably pushing it for me. Here we go. Pictures. It's a hurry up and wait. They thought we were skinnier than, than I think some of us are, yeah. Now in the press release, did they tell you which size you get? No. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I only get this side. Contamination. Yeah, totally. Yeah, 
like, like, I don't want to put them in one pocket. It feels like I don't want to. Yeah. Right. Yep. Absolutely. If you do it like this, it's too good. Yeah, like at some point, I'm going to go into my talking with my hands. Yeah, you got so it. Yeah. 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 I'm going to take your picture. <laughs> <laughs> Industrial Technologies Division. So we have 12 associate degrees, about 13 diplomas, uh, 40 certificates, and we also include short-term training with continuing education, uh, which we offer about 25 programs. Have you seen our CDL trucks out front uh -huh. when you walk by? Um, so this is our Automotive Systems Technology Division uh, and Light Duty people. So we have a two-year associate degree, we have diplomas and certificates. Uh -huh. Um, you probably heard a little bit about our Tech Academy, so we're really proud of that. It's a partnership between our public county schools and our community college here, where the public school uh, does transportation. So they bus our students here. Um, they pay for their textbooks. Uh, we waive their tuition through our CCP program, and then we supply instructors, classrooms, and materials that you see here. Um, at the end of the, they're 9 to 11, then we bus them about where you take them back to their schools where they finish the regular school day. Um, but we also have other programs with our CCP and with um, our automotive, we don't compete with um, the Tech Academy. The Tech Academy was five programs. So it was architectural technology, air conditioning, heating, refrigeration, industrial systems, electrical systems, and the biotechnology, which you just left. Um, but we also have, of our high schools, we have uh, six high schools, four of which offer automotives. We have an articulation agreement with those. The other two schools that don't offer automotives, we're using the Tech Academy bus to bring them over so that they can take classes at 9 to 12. Mm -hmm. And Carson Sizemore here is one of our high school. He's a high school junior. He's at Farmville Central. Uh, he completed the three classes in high school from Farmville Central. So he's done with the high school program. We've given him credit for one of our classes mm -hmm. here. And he's in a second semester working towards his associate degree. Nice. I'm going to turn it over for a Okay, Carson. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm a junior in high school. I did all the classes at my high school that they had to offer. Mm -hmm. And then we had some people come out to the high school and offer this as a dual enrollment so I could come. So like right now I take classes here and at Farmville. Uh -huh. So I do here Mondays and Tuesdays in the afternoons mm -hmm. as my classes for this. And I take other classes that fit as well, like my history and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I'll be, when I graduate high school, I'll be a good part of the way to have an associate's degree, if not the full thing, depending on how many other classes I take. It's pretty impressive. So when do you graduate high school? Uh, 2025. Okay, 2025. Uh, so I'm a junior. Uh-huh, that's right. Right? So. And you're taking both CTE and, uh, and general education? Yes, ma'am. So I'm taking, right now that's I'm great. taking the electrical, the intra-electrical class, and then I've taken breaks and stair suspension so far. Um, as well as the other classes I have to take, but I have to take those first. Mm -hmm. And while he's doing this, he's currently in the field working. So oh, he works at r and Automotive? S&J. Well, S &J. S &J. Is that an internship that's part of your program? Oh, uh, no, ma'am. That's just I knew somebody, and I do some behind-the-counter stuff. You know, just to get the end shop. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I take these classes here, and then I also have, so I've got my two classes at Pitt. Uh -huh. I've got the electrical, and I have, a like you said, a general education, just a history class. But you have to have a certain number of those, too. Okay. But it also counts for my high school credits, too. Yes, that's correct. And then you've probably heard once he successfully completes the 12 hours, he'll qualify for a Bulldog Promise. So he'll finish his associate uh -huh. degree here with uh, no tuition payment at all. That's so, amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So, right so I see you have one, oh, a couple of females. 
complaints. So how are you um, like pulling in more women? You're not. I'm not doing one thing. I'm just coming to school. Um, <laughs> we actually do have a few more uh, females in the class, um, and it's one of those where we're recruiting our female students with our female uh -huh. students. Uh, so we have we've done a really good job here at Pitt. I mean, one of my chairs, industrial, is is uh, Amy Stevenson. So she's pulling a lot more. Uh -huh. You went through the industrial area earlier. Uh -huh. Uh, so she's pulling in more females because she's showing that you can do this also. And the same thing with our females over in our automotives. But we have a lot of tours that come through here, uh, and we have a lot of programs like Visions, uh, et cetera, that, that bring students in and then see what we can do. And then when we do recruiting materials, we try to focus on as diverse a population as possible. Uh -huh. And do you uh, fix the uh, faculty cars for free? Not for free. We, we, we do charge them parts. Yeah. Parts, okay. All right. But we do, uh, in fact, yeah, we had the, the VP's car the other day, right, guys? Yeah. So, and we have a great group here. I mean, you've got uh, some of the instructors. Richie Alligood here is the coordinator for the Hi. automotives program. And uh, Norman Lilly is our chair. Hello. And hiding in the back is Brad Clayton. He does uh, our automotives and our light duty diesel. So we've expanded to light duty diesel. So um, hopefully we're looking at uh, expanding, and we've talked about alternative transportations, auto body and collision, programs like that to expand those opportunities for our students. So in addition to the students who come, you know, from the high schools, do you have older students who come into this program? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. How many older students are in here haven't, not straight out of high school? Oh, wow. So a lot of, we have students uh -huh. who will get out, the heck, they didn't figure out what they wanted to do. Maybe they weren't exposed to yep. automotives. Sure. A car breaks down, yeah. and they go, oh, wow, this is a lot of money. Uh -huh. And so they'll come to us at a later date. Uh -huh. We also do continuing education uh, courses. Uh -huh. And a lot of times you'll get students that come in, take one of those courses, like a basic uh, maintenance course, mm -hmm. and then say, I enjoy this. Maybe I want yeah. to do this for yeah. a living, and then come through and take these classes. Uh -huh. Well, it looks like you're doing a great job. Actually, they're doing it. I'm just. <laughs> no, you're I, the facilitator. I, they do the hard work. They yeah. do the hard work. And do you work with local employers to place students? Absolutely. I'm um, sure they're we have, students as yeah, soon as we, they can. We have parts stores. We have dealerships, independents, such as uh, the one Carson's working at. Uh, we just completed a, a, an apprenticeship program with Hastings Ford here oh, in town. Uh, we have a great relationship. Uh, this building is the Craig M. Goez building. That's Greenville Toyota. They, oh, they okay. have a relationship with us and hire uh, some of our students. Of course, Brown and Wood has sponsored all of our labs. Mm -hmm. They're here in town and sponsor a lot of our students. So we're hoping to expand that. And what our guys have done with classes is we have, I don't know if it's a cohort, but they have a group of classes in the morning. So uh -huh. our students will work in the afternoon. And we have the same group of classes in the afternoon so that some mm -hmm. of those students could work in the morning at our sure. stores or whatever because yeah. they open pretty early. Yeah. And then we have evening classes for those students who are working full time. Yeah, that's great. So yeah, Carson, you work, how many of you also work on
sausages made, so to speak, and had a lot to work. I'm afraid I'm going to get hit in the head by something and cut my scalp. He'll make a lot of sweat. <laughs> yeah, right. I did the best I could do. 